My name is Johanna Riddle and I'm a member of Bose Arts. Um, I'm really happy to be here today at the Museum of Arts and Sciences to talk about this piece of work. So I work primarily with mixed media. I use lots of different kinds of papers, construction paper sometimes, a lot of wood pulp papers, uh, tissue paper, altered papers that I've worked with chemically, deli paper, found papers, all of those things come together. And then I use a variety of types of processes, including painting, printmaking, uh, I make a lot of stencils and use those in my work. And many materials, lots of media, uh, acrylic, a lot of water-based dyes, uh, watercolor pencils, and um, a lot of sumi ink. So I will take all of those things together and begin to create a series of papers. I have boxes and drawers full of them at home um, in different values. And we'll um, spend days and weeks and months just painting papers, really. I will put together my color array and my media array, and I'll begin to work. And I work in many, many layers. There's a lot of varnish in between my work because I love the depth and the luminosity that that brings to my work. So this piece right here is really a combination of two series that I did. I like to work very often in small pieces in a sort of storyboard fashion because I love the idea that we can arrange and reconfigure these pieces to tell new and fresh stories. The first piece that I created is this section right here. It was about you know, almost two years ago now. I was uh, actually at a uh, at a gallery and I'd won an award for a piece of work and it's kind of nice, it's not really why we create art, but it's really wonderful to get the validation of your peers. And so I was coming out of the gallery, it was nighttime, it was a really breezy evening and this huge uh, piece of uh, streamer just came out of nowhere and wrapped, it just plastered itself against me. And it was this beautiful long Mylar streamer and it, that moment struck me because it was kind of like a connection of the, a universal attaboy, like we know we know this happened and we're celebrating with you. And that moment struck me, um, both metaphorically and physically, and I created this piece called The Delectable Bit of Ballyhoo. And actually, the streamer itself is woven into the work. So I have a big, long wall on my studio where I like to put my work so I can view it and see how it works together over time. The summer, we are here in the middle of the COVID bubble and the world becomes very small again. Time just grinds to a halt and the world is very, very small and time is very, very slow. And so I created this piece called Summer Haiku. As we know, haiku is a very brief and practical and to the point piece of verse, much like that period of time was. Uh, this little leaf in here is a reference to a, a poem by uh, Naomi Nye that is very meaningful to me. It's, uh, it says, walk around like a leaf, knowing at any moment you might fall, and then decide what to do with your time. So putting this up on the shelf and putting this up on the shelf, and I'm realizing that visually and thematically they were congruent and very compatible. And so I began to put them together and to create this piece. And I like the way that they work together and, that the sto and the story that they tell. I also want to mention that I often put writing behind my work. And in this case, there's an um, excerpt from uh, Audrey Niffendegger's book, The Time Traveler's Wife, that talks, talks about the block universe. And I love that idea that everything is happening at once and that we have this slice of time where we create a moment or we create a memory and we put those things together. So I love the squareness of this, almost as if they're a cross section of that block and have been laid out for our, um, for our memory and for our idea of uh, the pieces of time that stand out for us and define our lives. So the syncopation and the uh, synchrony of this, I think are very, uh, speak to the nature of time and uh, I was happy with the way that it turned out and I hope you like it too.